traveling there over mountains beneath the sun. Someday I'll find the way and I leave you behind. Follow my dream, but now you're calling me. Over canyons where rivers flow, where the mountains are white with snow, someone is waiting there with a cry for revenge, days with no end, oh Arizona mine. Shame where the body lies. Arizona is fighting there over mountains beneath the sun. Someday I find the way and I leave you behind. Settle, you go outside. It's gonna rain in a minute, so you better take cover. You about ready? Why not? I can pay your undertaker, amigo. No, whiskey. Oh, 
one died by violence. You give him a good funeral now. He paid for it himself. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, come on. Make a little room there. Here's the battle. Yeah, make it a double ceremony. You got enough money there to bury him, too. But don't put him too close, or they'll ruin the cemetery. Oh, they'll be among friends. I'm right here, Sheriff. I'm right here. Well, what's going on? Those bodies you buried last night making you a little bit nervous or something? Oh, no. I put them together like two brothers in holy union. Well, not exactly holy. Well, what are you shaking for, then? Give it here. Yeah, well, who wouldn't be nervous? First you come in here asking for a shave, and it's only Monday. And I'm bothered, too, by all them there females. There's just too many women in town. You're telling me there is. The good women of Plata City asked me to come to, mm -hmm. to Sybil Burton's house to mm -hmm. put me on trial. Huh. And you know those ladies. They don't spare you nothing. Got some of that Paris water? Mm-hmm. Two drops and you sniff like a rose. Yes, Welcome, Miss Phillips. We would never have dared to start without you. Thank you. Two, again, two dead men on the conscience of that wretch. May she burn in hell. My brother, the minister shall thunder from his pulpit. Do we want to make Plata City another Sodom and Gomorrah? Our men are tempted and lured by lust like Amnon. Do we feel so far from God as to want to forget him in sin? We cannot allow that witch from the saloon and all her tarts to continue, to take our sons from us, our brothers, our husbands. The sheriff's here, Miss Burton. Well, ladies, here I am. Oh, come now, Shanda. It's common knowledge what those women are up to. They want you out. Looks like everyone in town knows it except... Me, huh? They're envious and they're bored, poor things. So they've turned to religion for excitement. Ever since you arrived with your girls, they say that... Uh, 
They're losing the, uh, uh, the fervor of their husbands. And the number one bigot among all those shrews is the pastor's sister. You sure of that? I thought it was your wife who gathered those nice ladies for a tea party in your parlor. I'm surprised you know that. You underestimate me. And you've underestimated the injured hearts of the women of Plata City. You mean to tell me your wife was injured? I wouldn't know. What I do know is that the women will try to convince the sheriff that your show is too distracting for the men. <laughs> but I wouldn't worry. To the men. How does one fight such women? With gold. The Valley Bank. <laughs> it's appalling to think what one can do with cash. So it is. And what do you propose as a percentage for the coffers of your bank? Can't you figure it out? I've wasted your time. It depends on the weight. And I can wait a little more. You do better to invest in your wife's sentiments. I calculated the risk. She's convinced of our relationship, like most everyone in town is. Because they know that money and a beautiful girl are inevitably put together and share a single bed. Goodbye, sir. My influence extends to the whole territory of Arizona. Best to keep that in mind before you move out. I'd hate to think that uh, you were forced to take your little troop of dancing girls down into Mexico. You filthy brute. <laughs> Even the bitterest of words are sweet on your lips. I expect to have an answer by midnight. I'll be waiting in your room. Stand at the door while I take a look. And don't let anyone up. Hey, Rosebud. Come on up with me. Yeah. I don't like it. Miss all the women on my neck. That's all I need is another shooting. I don't like it. Who's in there? Shanda. It's her bedroom. Shanda, open up. Let me take a look. The lamp is lit, but it's dark too. No! This is a hotel you just can't get out of there. Dead. And the girl. I think she's only fainted. She ain't wounded and she's breathing. Stop your staring, you fat slob. Go on downstairs. Hold on a second. Do you recognize it? Yeah. It's Shandas. There's always in her pocketbook. She went and shot him after making love. How disgusting. How could she do that? Men are weak and are attracted by this subtle and alluring trap. Yet now, we can use this sordid crime to unmask the devil that was amongst us in the vicious body of that murderess. We live in mortal sin, and there will be no hope of expiation until we've wiped out the mark of disgrace that has branded us all with the murder of Roderick Burton. In my opinion, the only answer is to hang her. 
But this is madness. We don't fight abuse by asking the oppressed to break the law. Is it a crime to ask justice, expiation? Her death will purify us, will send the evil back to the depths of hell. You all know the passage. I have seen Satan fall from heaven like a thunderbolt. I have given you all the power to destroy serpents and scorpions. She's right. Come on. Hunter, town on fire? The fashion ladies out there, that's what's on fire, and they're kindled by Miss Phillips. Damn crazy woman. What does she want? She wants to cleanse the town, purify it of sin, by giving a lesson to the girls of the crazy horse. They want a hanging because they'll be paying for their own sins by hanging the sinner. I'm not a murderer, Sheriff. I swear it. I don't want to die. All right, now, you just keep calm. You're under the protection of the law. Nobody's going to touch you. They're coming, Sheriff. They're coming here to get me. They're going to hang me. They're going to hang me. I didn't. I didn't kill him. Believe me, Sheriff. I swear it to you. Hold. Hey, hold. Yeah, Mac. We ain't got much time to lose. Go find Red. In ten minutes, you've got to be out of here. Head straight for Phoenix. Phoenix, she'll be safe. Don't worry, I'll hold them off. The whole damn pious pack. If you get started now, they won't catch up with you. My dearest ladies, why not we all be reasonable and happy together? The whole world, all bodies come in to drink. And for the ladies, the rest, would you like sherry and apple strudel? Whatever you like. Only, darling, I beg, don't louse up. I mean, my girls are good girls, they are. Creature of the devil, you poisoned our men. With your potions, gambling, and the tarts you keep up there. We will destroy this house and throw salt on its ruins. Yeah. Oh, kaput. Put the whiskey in the cellar and save the beer. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Open the door, ma'am. No, go away. But just burden Go away. It's clear now. I suppose we can rest up a while. Nobody will catch up with you. You hear that, Miss Shander? You'll make it to Phoenix with your head intact. I must say, you ain't acting thankful. Wouldn't take much to show your gratitude to a couple of cow hands and a red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now look at a red face. Yeah. Hey, ain't that Buck Lauren? Smells worse than a dead coyote. Yeah, but he packs a lot of good whiskey. Ain't you had enough yet? Here. What do you say? All right. Chances like this one don't happen every day. She's got the best looking hide I've seen. I ever seen. Tell you she's a real peach. Silky. And hot. Oh, stop your chawing. Nobody gets hurt unless we all take a turn. So nobody can fake out. Unless we're all agreed, I don't want her. The deal all right. I'm not the morality bound kind. But once we get her brunted, we gotta agree to get rid of her. That's no trouble. Yeah, but is it absolutely necessary we kill her? If we let her go, as soon as she gets to Phoenix, she'll spill it. It's more merciful to die by bullet than it is through hanging. That's right. She'd have got strung up anyway. You can let me be the last one. Main thing now is to figure out a story that holds water. Any ideas, Red? Uh, I don't know. I suppose we could say she was hiding a gun under her petticoat and she was about to use it. And that we were forced to kill her in self-defense. Huh? How about it, Buck? Right. Both of you, after she was killed, went out and dug her a grave to give her decent burial. But they can't find her because of the sand dunes here. Winds can cover up a canyon. Suppose you toss and see who gets to go first. Heads or tails? I'll go. someplace else.
Hey, girl. You gonna come out? Or do I have to flush you out like a fox? Come on out of there. You want to be first, is that it? All you men are dying to be first. Come on, then. Come on! What are you waiting for? Watch this blanket, it gets cold at night here. Don't like it. Pretty dangerous going to sleep with a candle lit at night. This hut would make a pretty good bonfire. And then you'd have all the Indians howling over their beloved snakes. Why are you keeping me here? Where am I? You can leave right now, if you like. You were pretty sick. You were out of your mind. I can tell you that now because it's over. It was Manoa that looked after you. What do you got against men? What do they do to you? I suppose you're thinking it's none of my business, but I found you wounded and lying there. You should have let me die. Yeah? The coyotes and the buzzards thought so, too. But that would have been a bad end. You're much too beautiful. Well, don't try to think about it anymore. I'll put you on the road to Phoenix whenever you're ready. Or to Plata City, if you prefer. I... You got time for that decision. There's no hurry, girl. You know, if you've been wronged, you've got what it takes for revenge. You're quite a wild cat. Uh, what else can I call you besides, hey, girl? Shanda. My name's William. That's a nice name. Good night, Shanda. Snakes are Mustang's only friends. But what if they bite him? They already have. But that Indian's a witch. He would just venom better than whiskey. Once a year, he collects the snakes for the young people of the reservation, for their love dances. Love brought on by snakes? But how's that possible? Afraid I can't answer you that. The truth of the matter is the Hopi do increase in numbers just after that dance. Throughout the territory, there's a lot to talk about getting rid of them. The Hopis? No, the snakes. Uh. <laughs> 
Why do you look like that at me? I'm noticing the change. You're smiling. That means you're getting better. You mean that now I can leave? Whenever you want. Pinto Horse's mare. She will follow Stallion and take you to where you can find him. William, all right, I won't try to stop you. If you want to go, then go. You want the truth about Burton's death and the rest, don't you? Yes, I know that I, I asked you for it. But now I'm afraid for you. I don't want you to take chances. It doesn't matter what you want or don't want. It matters what I want. I want you to go back to Plata City free and in peace. But I have no reason to go back. Who? I have reason to stay. You're crazy. You're crazy. This is no place for a woman. Especially a woman like you. Shanda, I've got four states after me. They want to hang me. 
Do you know what that means? They're gonna hang me. Just a question of time. They don't know me in Arizona. I won't get in any trouble in Plata City. Not more than usual. And if you do find them, what are you going to do with them? I'll make them pay, Shanda, for what they did to you. Holt Red and that other one. I had never seen him before. I only know that he was a disgusting animal. Looks like there's a lot of strangers in Plata City. I'll stop your gaping. Go on home. Go on. You a rancher? No, I play cards. Damn. Mm -hmm. Well, if you play like you shoot, I'll never play poker with you. <laughs> Passing through? Well, now, Sheriff, that depends on my luck here. Well, I'd say you made a good start. Hmm. Let's bring this into the bank. You're entitled to a reward for recovering this cash here. Look, I don't live off of blood money. Now, don't get excited, stranger. There's already been enough commotion here for one morning. I suppose you'll at least be interested in getting to know one of the uh, most beautiful widows here in, uh, in town. This is Sybil Burton. Uh -huh. You must have heard all about how a saloon girl shot her husband. Now she's managing his bank. Janet! Janet! Listen, Mac, who's going to pay to bury those three stiffs? They ain't got one wooden plug in their pockets. Well, you got their horses, ain't you? Huh, you mean mules. The first one's ruptured. The second one's hobbling. And the last one's four years older than Methuselah. Huh, I don't worry. worry. It's all right. I'll pay. You can pay with the reward money. It's mine, right? Sure. Come on. <laughs> I reckon part of the loot is there since they helped you make it. It's exactly 10% of the money you recovered, Mr... I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I guess that's because nobody told you, Mrs. Oh, Burton. I'm sorry. I got to uh, introduce you. I guess it sort of slipped my mind in all this confusion. Everything's changed here. You're right. Uh, after his death, I changed everything. Even at home. Uh, what is your name? Abilene. Bill Abilene. Abilene. Isn't that the name of a new town on the border? Mm-hmm. That's where I'm from. Yeah, and when he's left this here town, he'll go call himself a Plata. Mr. Plata. Ain't that right, stranger? Perhaps that's none of your business, Sheriff. If you'll be staying a while, and your business needs a little credit, I'll be always happy to see you again, Mr. Abilene. Thank you. You're very kind. 
I'm sorry, I'm only a gambler. As far as the Valley Bank is concerned, you're the man who saved us the loss of $10,000. And I repeat, you'll be always welcomed. Pleasure meeting you, Mrs. Burton. Real pleasure. Goodbye. long ago they used to have a good show and the girls they had they were really something no wonder the women in town got upset they were pulling the clients in here from every corner even out of the barns what happened to them they get married Shh. they were kicked out the women here got in an uproar i tell you they weren't fooling they put so much tar on them bells and feathered them till they looked like poultry yeah i heard about the matter when they talk about a murder yeah, and it weren't just talk either. Star of the show here killed the banker, and she'd have been lynched by them women if me and Holt hadn't whisked her out of town and taken her to Phoenix. But she never got there. What do you know about that? They found her? Hmm. It's no secret. So you read the report, huh? Yeah, well, she was carrying a gun and would have used it if we didn't get the drop on her. Who fired the first shot, you? No, no, sir. I wouldn't have pulled no trigger on her, and she and I... Holt? No. No, me, no Holt would have done it. The other one, huh? Who was he? He's late. I better be going. Thanks a lot for the booze, anyway. Hey, give Red a little room, unless you want him on top of your head. Well, Doc? Huh? Well, what? There ain't nothing we can do for Rhett now except give him a decent burial. The next time, Hank, don't call me when a critter is blue in the face with his tongue hanging out. Sorry, Doc, I didn't know. Hate these dang suicides. Why do you say that it's suicide? Well, what else could it be then, according to you? You got a better opinion? No, but it's just that Rhett had no reason to kill himself. Paul? You think he could, uh... He was always tending to get a little unhappy bound, all right. But not to the point of... Hmm. But who's to figure what was in here? The human brain, you know, is a delicate thing. It doesn't take much to unbalance. You can commit suicide. Yeah, or kill somebody else, huh? Right. Did he suffer much? Not really. He was drunk anyway. Hey, it's your turn, Misery. I'm coming, Doc. Hmm. By the way, Sheriff, I forgot to tell you that, uh... I'd say that before dying, he made out a will and testament. There's some ink on his hands. You lose. Hmm. <laughs> if you got more luck with love than vice, you can quit. Everything this time, no limit. You got something on your mind, Rosebud? My good man, it's what you got on your mind. <laughs> if you want to have a little fun, I know where there's two beautiful dollies. I got them locked in an old ranch because they owe me a lot of gold. They don't pay back, I don't let them get out. That's interesting. What if the women of the town found out about it? Be quiet. The ladies would pull me apart like a pretzel. No, I only bother with those clients who know how to stick a little button on the lip. You're wide open for blackmail, Rosebud, and you know it. 
The law is a client of mine. You know Holt, the deputy sheriff, huh? To get a girl, it put a bullet through your head. Get him the woman, and you're protected. I tell the frauleins, together, mit hold, there will come a client. So both girls are pretty good. So the choice is very easy. You pick one, and the other goes to hold. better go, it's late. Do you think he was telling the truth? Maybe not. Although he did say that you'll meet Shanda. And I think it's much better to take a chance than to remain here, no? It's too late to worry about it. Remember to wait at the crossroads at sunup. But if I don't make it... Oh, Manuela! If that should happen, promise me you won't come back here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Rest up a second if you like. There's two miles to go yet. Really freezing out tonight. <laughs> it's a lot hotter where the ladies are. Manuela burns hotter than the cool. Or would you prefer Lily instead? Yeah. <laughs> like all blonde women, she's got to be kindled. But when you get them going for you, they'll burn better than the others. You mean there's an extra charge for her? Naturally. Nobody but me decides the girl you're going to get. And that depends on the amount of money you're willing to shell out. But see it as your first time around, I'll go along and take whatever is left. They're both good, and I'm about ready. Yeah. My love, he will rise in the morning with the clouds and the breeze with his love to singing your white and love songs, huh? Somebody tell you had a new client, huh? Manuela's a Latin. It's just a question of getting used to her, huh? How about a glass, Manuela? Mm. Where is Lily? Where is she, I said? Where's she gone? Don't ask me. Someone gave her a horse and she said adieu. Who did? How should I know? Aren't you a deputy? If you think she broke the law or something, go find her! (laughs) 
Aspetta, la prenderai quando avrò finito io. Tanto sei abituato a metterti in fila. Right, coward. Look up, signore! Get his gun. Handcuff and go that post over there on the bed. Under. Much. You pig. Listen, Manuela. No, no more. You listen to us now. Hey, what's going on here? Too bad for you that Red died before he signed a confession. What are you talking about? What confession is that? His fingers were think marks. So that's... Mm-hmm. Then the one that killed him was you. And you'll die a little less painfully if you're smart. Otherwise, you're gonna start begging me to let you die. Who else was with you and your pal when you raped Chanelie? Hmm. It was him who gave you the idea, huh? Well? Who was it? Who was he? Sai che faccio? Ti lascio vivere, Hult. Ma sarà una punizione peggiore. Pregherai mille volte di morire perché ti castro come un cane non degno di far razza. Aspetta, aspetta, lascialo fare a me. She's going to die of hanging. It's a lot better that we bury her out here. Because the widow in this case doesn't want the scandal to get out to Phoenix. Buck murdered Shanda in the canyon. Buck. Hold. Sheriff's been looking all over for you. Hey, Cole, what's wrong, Miss Reed? Get over here. I can't hold it by myself. Why It's clear now, Doc. We can no longer say Red killed himself. They were both murdered. But who? Who's the killer? There's got to be a reason behind this. Yeah, I don't doubt it. And if I knew it, I would have the killer in my hands. To kill that way, just like that, without a reason. He must be a madman, a homicidal maniac. And I think you, Doctor. It's not difficult to find who commits such crimes. Suppose you start picking among all them shrews that attack the crazy horse. What is that supposed to mean? That it could have been one of us? Yeah, you are phony. May the devil strike you. Menehasserin. Man-hater, you're the one who's responsible for the murder of Chandelier. Morning. 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 Another one. I was beginning to think you weren't going to show up. Well, as soon as I heard that you were looking for me, but uh, perhaps I'm... Don't uh... worry, it doesn't matter. I only wanted to ask you what I already asked to everyone. You understand, because of Holt's death, we got to ask everyone. Mm -hmm. At uh, 11 o'clock last night, you disappeared from the saloon, right? Where were you? And, uh, with who? With Rosebud. Ask him, he can tell you. Uh, you mind getting up, Mr. Shannon? Oh, no, not at all. 
we started playing a couple of hands and ended up gambling all night. Where? Come on, Rosie, go ahead and tell him where. On my bed. The bed was too much to blame this alone. Someone said that they saw you leaving the town on horseback and that there was someone else with you. Yeah, that's right. It was Rosie. We were headed out to his ranch. That was a stake in the game, and I wanted to see how much I was risking. What? You mean to say you went and bet your ranch? <laughs> you call that a ranch, that run-down, damned old... Well, uh, anyway, I lost. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to hock the ring to pay you. Is that right, Rosebud? Huh? That's right. <laughs> he lost. Listen, Sheriff, I've got one question, too. Who's so interested in me? Ask the one that's gonna hock your ring. Could be that she'll give you your answer. Strange. A gambler who wants to buy a ranch. Hmm. Don't you think? I'm not gonna buy a ranch. I gambled with Rosie and I lost. Three thousand dollars. So if you think that's worth it, let me have it. You know very well it's worth much more. You're an expert, huh? No, but I know the ring. And I also know that the person who owned it before you would pay a high price to have it back. May I ask how you got it? Gambling. Oh, but Mr. Patterson doesn't gamble. The ring was stolen by a bandit. Black talisman. Perhaps you won it from him. Hmm. Oh, won't you have a whiskey? And I'd like some to celebrate our first business deal. For your ring, Mr. Abilene, I think I can safely give you, let's say, $5,000. I only need three. The rest is compensation for the answer to a riddle. Why two men were killed after they were last seen in your company? If you were gambling, what were the stakes? Their lives? You're not only an expert on jewelry, but now you're acting like a lawyer. Where are you going? I ask Misery to let me see them. You tortured them first. What did you want to know? What did they tell you? Not much, Sybil. You should have come to me. I would have told you everything. What, Sybil? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yes. Hurt me. Hurt me. scent of your hands that betrays you. They know blood. They know death. No, you mustn't be afraid of me. I have a secret, too. And I want to tell you if it'll make you. Oh, I adore them. Because their hands capable of killing. Touch me. Let me feel your hands. No. No. Not here, not now. 
I'll tell you where and when. Hey, you in there. Come on out with your hands high. What the? Abilene, what the hell are you doing here? You sure get around, don't you? Can I put my hands down, Sheriff? It'd be a lot more comfortable. If I wanted to kill you, I could have done so from inside. You made a magnificent target on that horse with the sun behind you. Okay. But you still haven't told me what you were doing in that there hut. Well, I, uh, I found this key hanging here on this nail, so I let myself in. Yeah, Buck's a hunter. He goes and stays out sometimes for days. You know him well? Nope. Well, then, I've never seen him. Well, then what do you want from him? I don't like playing mystery. And now I'm getting tired of figuring things out. From now on, I will solve things with my gun. And so, the sooner you start heading out of town, the better for everyone. You're sharp, Sheriff. And to the point. Very sharp. Yeah. Like the blade of a knife, hmm? And don't think you can go hiding behind someone's skirts, either. I'll find you just the same. Because I'm not obligated to the Valley Bank. Have I made myself clear, Abilene? I got some debts owed me in Platter City, and I intend to collect them before I leave, whether you like it or not. easy it is to kill. All you have to do is to pull the trigger. And then, as the poem says, suddenly rose blossoms. Mm. A rose of blood, which keeps getting larger and more alive as the man becomes smaller and dies. If I decided to kill you, who could ever condemn me? Who would think there's any tie between us? With your husband. I suppose it was a little more complicated. Yeah. I didn't kill Rod. He was as sly as a fox, and I could never have taken him by surprise. He knew that I hated him. And he hated me, too. Well, he was wrong. A woman like you should be loved, desired with all one's heart and soul. Mm, I like to hear you talk like that. Go on. Sybil. Uh. You're a woman. Uh. Lovely, warm, passionate. 
watching it. Any man be lucky to have you for a lover. I'm never going to lose you. Mm. So I'll forgive anything mm. you'll ever do or anything you've done. Uh. Even like killing your husband. <laughs> I huh? didn't kill Rod. I know. <laughs> I know. Only you can understand me, Black. I wish I had met you before the other one. Is he the one who killed Rod for you? Yes. Will you free me from him? Why? Because I'm afraid of him. He's the only threat in my life. And so when he's dead, we could go away. To a state where nobody has ever heard of Black Talisman. <laughs> oh, and we can get married. And then... Once wedded, we couldn't testify against each other. Who is this man? Buck. Was it your idea to implicate the Reds and Holt? By having them rip Shanda? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That was very clever of you. You were afraid that the information might leak out at the Phoenix inquest, huh? Yes. But now you can kill him like you did the other two. It doesn't matter to me what was with Shanda and you or why you're vindicating her. How nice to think. You'd kill me too if you weren't in love with me, huh? Now instead you kill Buck, whom I hate, and to whom I've been enslaved since that first day. He was annoyed by my repulsion and beat me till I lost my senses. Later, when I came to, I was lying on his bed, undressed. I wanted to kill him, yet I was attracted, fascinated by his brutality. I knew I couldn't resist him and waited eagerly for him to come to me. When will you take care of that pig? He's out on a hunt. Now he's back. How do you know? He sent for me, and I went to him.
You mean it's blackmail, huh? Yes. Oh, Black, I can't help it. He's gotten under my skin like a louse. You gotta kill him. Kill him and I'll be yours. Only yours. You just try that again and I'll slit your throat. What's biting you, mister? What you did to Chandelier, that's what. to the animals in the desert. You're going to do like I say now. What have I got to do for you? You're going to sign this. Your confession. Along with an accusation against Sybil Burton. Well, seeing that you know all about that slut, why don't you turn her into the sheriff? An outlaw's word doesn't hold water. Especially against the owner of a bank who happens to hold Platter City in her hand. I figure I should get something out of the bargain. One hour. The time it takes a sheriff to get on your trail. It's not much. That ain't a fair deal. I could plant a bullet in your stomach and let the coyotes finish you off. All right. Wait a minute. Start from the beginning. How did you set up Burton? For weeks, she had planned the thing. The whole thing was her idea. Didn't really know what she wanted. But then one night, she told me to follow him. It was like she knew beforehand exactly what he was going to do. I had nothing against Burton. Didn't like the idea of doing him in. 
But that female coyote sure had ways of convincing a body. And so I agreed to do her dirty work. Just like she figured, Burton left the bar and headed for Shanda's room. He couldn't have known I was following his every move from top of the stairs. And so just as soon as he closed the door behind him, I followed. Shanda's gun that we used to kill him with. They figured she'd fired it. Sign it. Now get out before I change my mind. No, he's staying here. Stay where you are. I'll shoot. You think this is the end, eh, Sybil? For you, yes. You gave yourself away last night in your sleep. I kissed you and you called me Shanda. Give me that paper. Give it to me. Sorry, Sheriff, but I got no other choice. Substituting for justice is putting a nice rope around your neck. They can't hang me twice. What kind of justice are you talking about? The kind that would have hung an innocent woman? Now you got all the proof you need, and you can take it to the judges in Phoenix. It's a signed confession from Buck, and it sums up everything. From Sybil Burton, who planned the murder of her husband, to the filthy crime of Retton Holt. Shanda Lee will have to go testify. She will. I want you to give her the reward for my capture. What? In a couple of hours, somebody's gonna release you. I'll tell you where I'll be. But first, I want your word that you'll give her the reward as if it were she who told you all about me and where to find me. 
I would like to have a long talk about this. I accept, though. You have my word. Thanks, Mac. Tell her it's a compensation. Compensation for justice making a mistake. That way she'll find it easier to forget and get a fresh start. Hey, can you give me a cigar? Because I heard your heart stop beating for a moment. That's because there is pain in party. But you said it's only for two days. Only two days, didn't you? Of course. As soon as I set things right with the sheriff, I'm going to follow you right across that border. Ah, you're going to like Santa Fe. The houses are painted red. And blue and white. And right in the center. There's a square with a fountain, lots of trees, benches. <laughs> you sit on one of those benches and eat tortillas and wait for me, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. There's an old saying, a man's lucky who's got a beautiful woman waiting for him. Thank you, Shanda. That'll be the most beautiful moment of my life when I see you again. We know her. I'm going to give you my horse, Shanda. He knows the way, and he'll get you there safely. Huh? Don't worry about me. I know where there's another. Now, will you stop looking at me like that? Come on. Say goodbye, Shanda. You love him like he loves you. Goodbye, William.
They all look the same when they're dead. These no-good, two-bit, double-dealing cowards. 